problem is asking figure p919 shows a mos differential amplifier with a train resistor rd implemented using diode connected pmos resistance q3 and q4 let q1 and q2 be matched q3 and q4 be matched uh, the a parts in this video i'm just going to do the a part the a part is asking find the differential half circuit and use it to drive an expression for ad in terms of gm1 gm1 true gm34 ro1 true and ro34 okay we are going to do that <coughs> so first in order to do this one first we have to do the differential half circuit to derive the differential half circuit what we do is we cut this one into half and we make make the pmos to be a transistor we can name it as rd prime and we connect the top part to the ground and here we will have the negative vod by 2 to be the output okay now let's go ahead and draw that diagram so we are just taking the one part of the circuit and q1 will be remaining here bottom will be connected to the ground and top also will be connected to the ground and this pmos wherever the pmos was will be replaced with the resistance rd prime Okay, and here we have the input voltage that is VID by 2. Here we will have the output voltage that is negative VOD by 2. And this is our Q1 transistor. And that's basically it. This is the differential half circuit. And uh, here we can use this one to derive the equivalent circuit. In a small signal model if you do that then you know that in a small signal model we will have the train on top source on the bottom ground on the side like this let me draw that so we have we will have the train right here and the source right here and the ground right here okay this is our ground this is our train and this one is our source from train to source from train to source we have a current flow and that current flow is from through you can say it's exact current flow through this one should be here because there won't be any current flow in the gate and here the gate also connected but Usually in a MOSFET there's no current flow in the gate. So we can just say we express this one in terms of transconductance and voltages. This is going to be GM VGS3, which means the voltage here is VGS3 between gate and the source. Okay, and the resistance in between, and this one is connected to the source, and the resistance between between the drain and the source is uh, output resistance. That one you can call R O three. And here to find out what's the voltage here is we we can name it as V X plus minus and the current through that as ix and there's a connector connection between ground and the train as well okay so this is our equivalent model circuit this will allow, allow us to get you know figure out some unknown things And if I am trying to calculate the output voltage, I mean output resistor, 
that is basically the vx if i use ohms law ohms law says v is equal to i times r therefore r is equal to v divided by i so if, the, if we find out this vx divided by this ix value that's going to be the we can put small i also that's going to be the <coughs> output resistance okay now vx we keep it as it is and and vx actually if you look at this one this one is parallel to vg3 so instead of vx we can put vg3 here and for the ix we can look at the possible current flow there won't be any current flow to the gate so that is nothing so whatever the ix must be going through this and this if i look at the node d because this one is zero and this one gm vg3 going through this so if i apply kcl kcl at node d uh, we will end up getting gm vg3 you can say gm3 vg3 because transconductor might not be the same okay and uh, whatever the current flow through this now if i apply the, the k i mean ohm's law says v is equal to i times r so i'm looking at i i is equal to v divided by r and the voltage is parallel all over the place so it's going to be same exact voltage voltage we are going to have right here we can either say that is vx or vg3 same thing because these two are parallel if you have parallel if you have voltages in parallel is equal okay so this one plus um vg3 over v v is equal to i times r is therefore i is equal to v over r so vg3 divided by r o3 yes so from this one we can see that if i take vg3 we can cancel these three terms so we will end up having one over uh, gm3 here and then one over r o3 here okay that's our output resistance equation and uh, if you notice another pattern uh, if we write this ro as 1 over ro we can write this one as 1 over hold on if i write this one as 1 over ro then uh, first write let's write r o term because otherwise it get confused so if i type r o alone that is look like 1 over gm3 uh, plus 1 over 1 over r o3 which is r o3 and if i take it as 1 over r o that is 1 over 1 over gm3 plus 1 over ro3 we do that to see the parallel resistance okay so which means <coughs> this 1 over gm3 and ro3 are parallel because if you remember resistance equation if you put 1 over r uh, equivalence is equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 that works for that equation works for the parallel circuit so parallel resistance so it means here whatever we have in the denominators are parallel to each other so it means we can also say ro is equal to 1 over gm3 parallel to ro3 as well okay 
So once we have that, we can go ahead and express our. We can find out a gain. Gain equation in a differential circuit is given by GM12 times R output 1 parallel to RO. And here we have an expression for RO, that is this one. We can replace this RO by this GM12 and then RO1 parallel to 1 over GM3, 1 over RO3, 1 over GM3, RO3. And that is basically it. The question is asking for that. Find the differential half circuit and use it to derive an expression for AD in terms of GM12, GM34, RO12, RO34. Okay. If you are taking GM12 or GM34, this is going to be the same thing. Or RO12, RO34, this is going to be the same thing since all of them are matched. So this is what we finally end up getting. Okay, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you guys on my next video.